50% similarity index. Oh God, when am I gonna get rid of this plagiarism? I'm so tired of it. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. I know you want to pass any plagiarism test in any software you use, whether Turnitin or Authenticate, but don't worry, just keep watching this video. Hello, intellect. Welcome to Insights for You. Academic writing is even more complicated than you can imagine. Academic writing requires anchoring your ideas within the framework of various intellectual debates. In fact, academic writing is incomplete without contributions from existing literature. Nevertheless, due acknowledgement must be given to the originators of ideas, words, and issues used in any academic writing you do. Failure to properly acknowledge the authors of, the, of ideas incorporated in your academic writing is called plagiarism. It is illegal, it's fraudulent, and can attract punishment if caught. It's actually easy to write your articles, your papers, your dissertations, your blogs, your tests, whatever you want to write, and have a low similarity index in your plagiarism test. I remember the first time I ran plagiarism tests using Tonity. Turn it in, yeah, turn it in, plagiarism checker. I had an alarming similarity index of 49%. Oh God, I practically freaked out. Today, the maximum similarity index for any of my writing, irrespective of the number of pages, is 4%. Sometimes my work read, reads 100% original. So I feel I need to share with you the few tips to beat the plagiarism test. All right, meanwhile, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you want to keep getting exciting and innovative guides on how to enhance your writing and your research work, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You don't want to miss any of my insightful videos that I've packaged just for you. So come right in here, let's go. Here are five tips to beat any plagiarism test. Number one, Cite and reference sources correctly. In-text citations are a must in academic writing. It often always includes the last name of the author of the original source, the um, publication year, and a page number, as the case may be. While writing, don't stop at in-text citation. Reference any work cited immediately. Yes, right away. In fact, I will advise you to reference a job as soon as you just quote the author. Why? Sometimes, after citing and discussing an original source and idea, some writers forget to reference the author. So while at this, you may you may use any of the common um, referencing um, styles we have. If it's APA, MLA, Chicago style, just be consistent with any referencing style you adopt. I will be uploading a video on citation and referencing made easy and how to use Microsoft Word to generate your references. Just hit the notification bell as these videos will help you seriously in your academic pursuit. Now, number two, understand how plagiarism checkers work. Plagiarism software detectors like Turnitin, Authenticate, Duplicate Checker, usually capture recycled text in a digital format and compare the similarity index between them. These plagiarism checkers scan various databases online and identifies the text components and then compares them to the element content and other existing work. Do you know what that means? It means as long as the work is not online, similarity cannot be found by plagiarism checkers. As soon as the software is done scanning, it produces a report that shows you parts plagiarized and the percentage of your similarity index. The higher the similarity index, it means the plagiarism rate is high. So while using plagiarism checkers, you can exclude the bibliography to avoid your references being read as plagiarized. If you exclude quote option um, button, that if it's on, all citations in quotation marks will not be read as plagiarized. Number three, paraphrase. Avoid direct quotes. If you must paraphrase, 
that means or rather if you must um, if you must pass any plagiarism test you must paraphrase it's compulsory it's foundation you must paraphrase try to use your own words to explain something from a source do not use synonyms read the work understand it and then just make sure that your text isn't too similar to the original as long as there are three to four consecutive words identical to an original the lesson checker would consider it as plagiarism. Even if you cite the octos used and you fail to paraphrase or cite properly, the plagiarism checker will still read a similarity index between texts. Although there are times whereby you may need to quote directly, but don't fail to put such ideas in quotation marks. However, don't forget to cite any source used whether you paraphrase or not. So let's try and paraphrase the statement from Scriber 2019. I will show you the right way and the wrong way to paraphrase. So just look at your screen and you see what I put there. So let's um, paraphrase wrongly using synonyms. Just look at your screen. And check out like Tony thing is going to read this as they are. So I'm not going to tell you and teach you how to paraphrase correctly. This is how you should paraphrase. Meanwhile, there are some uh, rewriter apps or paraphrasing tools that you can use to paraphrase your work easily. And they are free. Huh? So just watch my video on the best rewriter apps to pass plagiarism. You'll be amazed what these plagiarism and paraphrasing tools could do for you. Mm, let's go to number four. Use free paraphrasing checkers as you write. You can use the plagiarism checker yourself as you write before submitting uh, your your papers for plagiarism. It will help you to identify any part that you forgot to cite properly or paraphrase similar to the original. Don't forget to watch my video on the five free online plagiarism checkers if you want to know some excellent and free plagiarism checkers that you can use. When and the last but not the least, consult an expert. If you need help, ask. My late dad always said, if you ask questions, you can't miss it in life. So ask the librarian, ask the professor, request a cosmic, ask me, I'm here for you. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm just put a comment in the um, comment section below or send an email and I'll respond speedily. All right, intellects, I'll draw the curtain here. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you liked it, please hit the like button down below as it encourages me to make more recycled videos just for you. See you in my next video. Love you so much. Be safe. Bye.